today we're talking about cortisol, often called the stress hormone. It plays a powerful role in our bodies and can have a big impact on our skin. Cortisol can actually be very helpful in the right doses. In fact, doctors sometimes use cortisol-based medicine to treat skin conditions like eczema and psoriasis. But when cortisol stays high for too long because of ongoing stress, it can start to damage our skin. First, let's talk briefly about a rare condition called Cushing's syndrome. This happens when the body makes too much cortisol due to issues with the glands that produce hormones. It's a serious medical condition and you need to see a doctor if you're concerned about that. But that's not our main focus of today's video. Cushing's is rare. Instead, we'll be looking at the much more common situation where cortisol rises due to everyday stressors like lack of sleep, poor diet, worry and anxiety. So for most of us, cortisol doesn't rise due to a medical condition, but because of daily stresses. When we're constantly under pressure or not getting enough rest, cortisol can stay high, leading to noticeable changes in our body and our skin health. Here's the tricky part. Cortisol can be helpful when used in short bursts, but over time, too much cortisol can cause problems. So think of cortisol like water for plants. In small doses, it's nourishing, but if you flood the plant, it starts to suffer. Similarly, too much cortisol over a prolonged period of time can lead to issues for us as well. Let's look now at what can happen to our skin when cortisol levels are high for prolonged periods of time. Firstly, accelerated skin aging because excess cortisol breaks down collagen and elastin. That's the building blocks that keep our skin firm and stretchy. When these break down, we start seeing wrinkles and sagging, like how elastic bands lose their snap over time. It can also impair skin barrier function. The skin barrier keeps moisture in and blocks out irritants. With a weakened barrier, the skin can become dry, sensitive and more easily damaged. High cortisol keeps inflammation going in the skin, which can make conditions like acne, psoriasis and eczema worse. It can delay wound healing. Cortisol slows down the skin's healing process, so cuts and scrapes may take longer to heal and a scar could form more easily. Thinning of the skin is also an issue. Over time, cortisol can thin the skin, making it fragile and more prone to bruising and injury. There's also an increased risk of infection where cortisol weakens the skin's immune defenses, making it easier for bacteria, fungi and viruses to cause infections. Now let's take a look at how cortisol can affect specific skin conditions in different ways. First up, psoriasis. Now it's quite interesting that high cortisol may sometimes improve psoriasis symptoms by temporarily reducing inflammation. However, if cortisol levels remain high for too long, it can disrupt the immune system and that causes worsening over time with the psoriasis. And I often see that in my clinic where people will come in with flares of their psoriasis when they're under stress. Now, in acne, cortisol can increase sebum or the oily production, and that can clog pores and lead to excess breakouts. And studies show that high stress, which raises cortisol, can lead to more acne flare-ups a few weeks later. For eczema, cortisol has mixed effects again. Short-term Boost might reduce inflammation and improve symptoms, but long term, high cortisol weakens the skin's protective barrier, making it more sensitive and prone to flare ups. And in rosacea, cortisol can affect the blood vessels, leading to redness or flushing, especially on the face. And I go deeper on my video on rosacea on that one, and both how the physical and the psychological stress can affect this condition. High cortisol doesn't just affect the skin. Here's what it can do to the rest of the body and mind. It can cause weight gain, especially around the belly. And cortisol often leads to weight gain, especially in this sort of middle area, it's like your body holds on to excess energy, thinking that you're in a stressful situation and you might need it later. It can lead to muscle weakness and fatigue. Too much cortisol weakens muscles, making us feel more tired, like running on a low battery. Cortisol can raise blood pressure, leading to headaches, adding to the physical toll of high stress. It can affect your mood. Excess cortisol can make us feel irritable and anxious, like a ticking clock that keeps getting louder. Cortisol can also make it harder to concentrate or remember things, like trying to read a book in a noisy room. So managing cortisol is essential for healthy skin. When cortisol is balanced, it helps protect our skin. When it's too high, it can harm it. So how can we manage our cortisol levels to help prevent these issues? Well, here are some lifestyle tips. 
Stress reduction techniques like meditation, deep breathing, yoga and exercise help lower stress and reduce cortisol. Think of it as giving your mind and body a mini vacation to reset. Talking with a counsellor or therapist can be very helpful in managing stress more effectively. Prioritising sleep. Sleep is like hitting the reset button for cortisol. Getting the right amount of quality sleep allows our body's natural cortisol levels to normalise. Again, Diet's really important, like eating whole foods and fruits, vegetables, omega-3, all support healthy cortisol levels. Now, I've also made a video on how food affects our skin health, so you can check that out. Appropriate skincare routine is important too. This may depend on your specific skin condition, but in general, choose products that support the skin barrier. Keep routines simple, sun protection and moisturizing in the morning, Gentle cleansers if required in the evening and moisturizing again. Even something like Vaseline can be great for keeping moisture in. Now occasionally medical treatments are required. If high cortisol is related to a medical issue like Cushing's I mentioned earlier, your doctor may put you on specific treatments for that. So cortisol can be helpful in small doses. In fact, we wouldn't survive without it, but too much for too long can lead to skin issues and affect our overall health. If you're looking to take even better care of your skin, you might be interested in my simple skincare routine. Thanks for watching and drop any questions in the comments below. See you in the next one.